good, fellas? I'm back in. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe so I can get this algorithm going. We can get these people seeing these videos. Today, we're gonna talk about the friend zone. Why you're in it, how to get out of it, how not to waste your time. The friend zone is basically, it can go any way it could be when a guy likes a girl and she doesn't like him back or a girl likes a guy, she doesn't like him back. In this case, we're talking about men. So we're talking about when we like a girl and she doesn't want us back. For me, normally, I would say that it comes down to a few reasons. She doesn't see you in that way because maybe you don't look the part, she's not interested in you, or you just haven't communicated it that you're interested in her. Yeah, she may not be dumb, but she's gonna act dumb until you say something. Nobody, no woman's gonna be like, oh, 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 I want you, I want you. Now, it's gonna be very rare that that happens. So you're gonna have to communicate that. Otherwise, you're gonna be out here stuck in limbo, doing extra stuff, taking rides across town, buying food that's not yours, going broke about it, and just overall looking silly. One of them folks be like, oh, hey, hey, hey you, you hit, oh, uh, you hit Plum yet? And you'd be like, oh, oh. Hey, girl, what's up? What you doing for Halloween, girl? I'm chilling today. I'm on my mouth. Ooh, girl, it's a bad time for that. How you feel? Yeah, girl, I'm, having, I'm cramping real bad. I'm just going to chill today. Maxwell said he going to bring me some food. Girl, Maxwell is a blessing. Speaking of that, what about Mike? Well, you know I got to have Mike blessing over. Ooh, you nasty. I'm going to just go and keep the lights low and tell him to wear a condom this time. Ooh, girl, the way you acting about Mike blessing, I might need to get me some of that myself. Ooh, girl, I got to go Maxwell at the gate. I'll talk to you later. Bye, girl. Hey, Paloma, I'm here with the Cheesecake Factory. And guess what else? Got your pumpkin spice cheesecake just like you like, your favorite. And I know that you care about recycling. So I made sure I got a reusable bag just to save the earth just a little bit. Oh, Maxie, you're perfect. You need anything else? Maybe a back rub? You know, anything like that? Do you think that you could wash my car, clean my bathroom, walk my dog too? Oh, God, he's huge. Oh, wow, look, he's so rambunctious. What, are you sure? I'm just so drained. I, I need to get it done, but I'm just so tired. Please help me. Okay, okay. Okay. Well, did you have an accident or something? So a lot of blood in here. Sorry, I'm on my monthly. Shit, this is gross. Oh. Hope she gives me some later. Fuck. Ugh. Hey, Paloma. I finished up everything. Walked your dog. Cleaned your car. Good as new. Cleaned up your bathroom. Looking spick and span. Maybe we can watch a movie or something. Oh no, I'm too tired. Can I call you tomorrow? Okay, okay. Ne next time, next time. I I'll call you tomorrow. That thing wet as hell. I want to feel that. Put a condom on. I don't want to get pregnant. Man, okay. Gonna open up then. Get in there! Ooh, get in there! Ooh. 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 Bitch, why you didn't tell me it was bleeding? You had my finger bloody, you had my, my dick bloody. It was blood everywhere when I turned the light on, man. God damn, what the hell? You a nasty ass bitch. But Mike, I'm sorry. Dirty bitch. I, I didn't mean it, Mike. I'm sorry, it just happened. Oh, you better lose my number pulling shit like that. Mike, don't be like that. Don't never call me again, ho. Maxwell, he he's such a jerk, Maxwell. Hello? Hey, Paloma, are you okay? He got mad at me because I was on my period. I couldn't help it. It just happened. Oh, he's such an asshole. Oh, God, these guys. Uh, he's, oh, my God. Thank you, Maxwell. You're so nice. <sighs> if you need anything, just let me know, okay? All right. You're just the greatest bro ever. As you can see in that clip, the friend zone is no place you want to be. I mean, the clip is probably a little over-exaggerated. 
but uh, there are definitely some guys that probably go through a few of those things. They, there are some guys that probably have actually done that. You got guys wasting gas to go across town when they don't have any gas. When you got guys going broke to feed girls that don't even care about them and aren't even giving them any type of benefit. You got guys that are just wasting their time when they could have been improving their self. They could have improved their own life. They could have been dating people that actually care about them. So I think one of the most effective ways of getting out of the friend zone or, you know, just preventing the friend zone in general is, is being in demand. If you're not in demand with these other girls, why is this girl going to want you? Just think about it as like a shoe, like uh, like this new shoe is in demand, this off-white shoe is in demand, everybody wants it. So now probably you want it too, I hope you're not a cookie cutter like that, but that's normally how it goes. What everybody wants, everybody else wants that too. What nobody wants, everybody kind of looking like, eh. except for maybe a few people, a couple stragglers here and there. But uh, as, as far as girls, I feel like when another other girl wants you, then she feels like, oh, it's competition. And she feels like, oh, I want him too. Or just focusing on yourself, focusing on your schoolwork, your hobbies, maybe building up your business, whatever that might be. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. I wonder what Maxwell's doing. Hey, what's up, Paloma? Hey, Maxwell, do you think you could come help me around the house? I'm, I'm feeling terrible again. Yeah, sorry, I've got a date tonight. Oh, really? Who's the lucky lady? Oh, yeah, her name's uh, Skeena Bina. Yeah. yeah, she's actually really nice. I'm gonna check her out, I guess, you know? See if you approve. Well, you have a good night. All right, have a good night. Hmm, let me look up her Instagram. She sounds ugly. I could do better than that. One of my biggest pieces of advice for getting, for preventing the friend zone period is man, just straight up, you know, let her know what it is that you're trying to do, what your intentions are in the first place. That way you don't waste time. Once you waste your time, man, you can't get it back, man. As an older guy, man, I know this. I'm not that old, but I know this. And you don't want to learn that the hard way where you wasted a year chasing this girl around doing stuff for wasting your money when you could have been improving yourself maybe in the gym improving your business whatever that is that you wanted to do maybe improving your schooling whatever it is you don't want to waste your time so it's best to let her know up front hey man I, I, i'm trying to see you i'm trying to do something don't waste your time hey max what are you up to hey paloma what are you up to did you want to come over? Hmm, maybe we could have some, some me and you time? I was just thinking we could just watch a movie. Maybe eat? Oh, well, I'm good. I, I, I don't want to really waste my time anymore. I'm sorry. I don't think we should be friends. Okay. Well, well, I, I guess, uh, yeah, I guess I'll talk to you sometime. All right, take it easy. feeding them. We're trying to make sure that we're not wasting our time when we could have been getting better on our own or doing something that we wanted to do. So make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. I want to see y'all win. And I don't want to see y'all wasting y'all's money or y'all's time or being a bum about some girl. <laughs>